cool, ladies and gentlemen. You find me at the camp that we were establishing at the end of the last episode. And I've got a bag full of these mystery snails, which I'm busy cooking up. Just because I've got so damn many of them. Don't know how long they take to cook each. But uh, we'll find out. I've rotated a bit of the meat on the dryer. So some of it's in the backpack now. And we've got some alternative meat on the dryer drying out. We're going to spend a day or two here and get ourselves sorted out. Um, once we've got these snails cooked up, I'm going to um, get some decent sleep. And then we're going to make some armor in the morning. Now, we don't have a huge amount of materials for making armor, so we're going to be making wooden armor stick armor and yep that is a thing that's assuming it will let us without having the the blueprint expressly in our possession hopefully it'll let us take a guess at it and build it that way and um, I've been working a little bit on our skills so we've got those slightly improved in uh, different areas and discovered a neat trick with armadillos for practicing your bow. You go chasing after one of the, the small three-banded armadillos to the point where you catch up with it and it curls into a ball. You can stand there shooting arrows at it to your heart's content, gaining archery skill points and never damaging the animal other than mentally, because you're probably traumatizing the poor thing. <laughs> it's, uh, it helps us to survive, which at the end of the day is the whole purpose of it, by getting our skills up. And we're going to have to eat these blue mushrooms, sadly, because they're coming to the end of their life. Um, if I move that across, I can move these snails onto the very edge of the backpack. Put that there beside them. We've not had food poisoning yet, so we've not had to eat these lilies. Um, which is Good news, I suppose. Just eat one of them, see what we get for it. Three proteins, one energy. Okay, well, it's not a huge amount. But they spawn quite liberally on those rocks over at the river behind me. Which is good news, so we can get them as, as many of them as we want, although it is probably not efficient to be standing here cooking them for the sake of three proteins. Um, but we've got what? Yeah, they're only a 48 hour life after cooking, and they're only about the same after you pick them up as well, so uh, not the most efficient method. Right, um, we've got coconut bidens full of dirty water there. I need to get a couple of these coconut bowls for cooking with. Just drink that water. Take that, take that. I'll leave those four out there collecting water. You can see I've got extra frogs here. In fact, we're going to have to move those frogs. Let's just get these in here. Um, oh, we've got some extra small leaf piles here. One. There we are. These frogs are being a, a bit of a pain. We'll have to move them up a bit. There we are. What am I doing? 
So we grab that one, tip it into there, tip that one into there. Put them there like that. Once that water is clean, I'm going to dip it. I want to be carrying at least one bite on of clean water around with us. That one's now empty. Guess we can leave it here for now. Got a bone there. We got any other bones left? No, we haven't. We used them all. I made a load of bone needles for making dryers as we create camps in different areas. Right, so at least we've got 40 water with us to carry around. That one's now empty. Put that one there. Put that one there. Can we get that bone in? Oh, not until the water's boiled. Um, try and make a lily soup, see what happens. Save a little bit of space in the backpack. Don't think we can get that Biden in that top. Nah, didn't think so. Uh, minus five fo food poisoning on that brew. Minus three on that one. We'll leave them sitting there till breakfast. Just top the fire up. If we're going to have it burning, we might as well have it burning until sunrise. What I want to do is I want to try and find a few more um, bird carcasses so that we can make some more arrows. What time of day have we got? Nearly 3 a.m. We need fats, we need proteins, we need carbs and water. Oh dear. Right. Um, those are the only fats we've got. Eat these mushrooms. Don't need a lot of proteins, so we eat them. How are we doing now? Yeah, we're going to need to eat a piece of that fish. 22 proteins and 5 energy off the stingray. Why did that heart of palm move? It's moving on its own. Weird. My backpack is haunted. I'll tell you what, if we move them down and put that one in the corner. And we can't... Do that that way. Okay. Have to move those then. Up there. The heart of palm up there. Turn the cooked snails to there. Like that. Great. Okay. Now carbs. Unless there's some bananas in the plantation behind us, we're going to have to use mushrooms. So Why are you reaching out to take those? What are we doing? Yeah, just need a little bit of carbs. Mushrooms would do the job. There's a few mushrooms here. That's not, it's more snails. Oh well. Why won't you take that? going on that one must not mustn't be really there then in that case we can't, haven't got a pair to cook Just drop him back with his mate then there's a bunch of them across there yeah we we'll just leave them Let's we'll see if we can find some bananas. How's these meats doing? Still an age away from cooking. Uh, from drying. Uh, 
There was some bananas there. And there's more here. Well, that's a group of five. I don't really want to take a group of five. That's it. Who we got in the cage trap? Wherever it's gone, there it is. Oh, we didn't rearm it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eat that spare banana off that group. Move these down here. That. Oh, and we've got a, got a leech by the look of it. Three of them. Okay, it's coming up to sunrise, but I'm going to get a little bit of a sleep. Top off that energy. 5.44, 9.44, we want to wake up. Gives us a four hour sleep to offset insomnia. Right, what do we want to do today? We're waiting for that meat to cook before we move on. Now, did we refill those bidons? Empty. And I guess that one's pretty much empty. So. What's going on? Why, why are we having such issues picking things up? I think the game may be wanting to crash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save. see if that fixes the issue. Sometimes it does. Oh, looks like that Bidon's disappeared. And those cane toads are looking rather silly, aren't they? Got an invisible bite on there. Hmm. Not impressed because it's taken a lot of work to collect the the bidons. Those are stats. Yeah. What I'm going to do is gonna drink that. Drink that. Gonna keep those bowls in here. Wonder if this is um, the artifact despawning system causing issues. They've introduced a system where things lying around on the ground don't persist very long, and they end up uh, despawning. Right, fats is our main issue. Let's go see if that tree's got any nuts and then we'll get this armour made. He hasn't. How's our meats doing? Uh, right, the top ones are nearly done. These should be finished today. Should allow us to move out. Well, we're not going to be moving out because we've got to do the thing with that bowl down there as part of the storyline quest. And I keep forgetting that this is storyline. I need to be moving it along and not faffing the way that I have been doing. Right, so let's get that open. Let's craft 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 stick armor 
and we just make them all up first. Actually, no. We want to put that on our legs. It's not the best armor. Not even the middle quality armor, but it's better than nothing. also more than the natives are wearing so and we'll be whoops we're being told to press M oh stop it we're being told to press M to look at the map um, We'll do that in a second. Right, that's us armored up. I would have preferred bone armor or armadillo armor, but we ain't getting that anytime soon. Uh, how's our stats? Yeah, a little drink, a little carbs, and a little fat, and we will be absolutely fine. And we're going to have to take a couple of these with us on the trail as well, because we've got two for cooking. But we're going to need um, we're going to need ones for dropping to catch the rain. And oh, I'm dithering. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Um, that's an empty one. Let's put that in there. So we've got one with forty water, one that's empty. If there's water in them bowls, there is. Let's get this one filled from here. Once it's rained again, we'll be able to get that full, so that at least then we'll be able to carry 80 water around with us. How's our meat doing? Probably still hasn't cured after faffing. Oh, some of it has. Excellent. Our weight is 42.6. We are heavy. How many sticks? We're carrying a lot of sticks and ropes. So I guess we can drop them off to reduce the weight. Drop any stones that we may be carrying. Keep one rope on us, 38.8 not carrying any stones. We're carrying one piece of charcoal though. I guess we can drop that. Um, 38.4. So we can leave one leaf bandage here. Come on, get up there a bit. Oh, come on charcoal, behave. There we are. 37.9 Can we move that resin down there? No, we can't. That's a shame. Uh, we can move the second set of those into there, though. No need for them to be up high there. Um, 
the lake. No, they won't. Would that one have? It might have. trying to keep as much space as possible. In fact, they're going to be better right up the top. And we'll put these ones down here. Like that. Just more space in there, doing it that way. We do need to find more feathers to make more arrows. That's quite a high priority. Coming up to sunset, um, what weight are we now carrying? 37.8. By the time we pick up our meat, we're going to be heavy and we want to move on in the morning. So today's basically a faffing day to get out of here. So that meat's going to be finished very soon. Three banded armadillo meat. Won't be very long at all before that's complete tons and tons of meat that's stingray meat now it's got five days three that's only got three days 22 that's actually a longer lasting meat than this one down here long enough that yeah that meat's just done right so that's got five days three hours that's got five days zero hours but that won't go on there so it'll have to go there we need to get some nuts um i would like would have liked to have taken some extra bananas with us don't think we're going to be able to need some mushrooms as well We've got that journey down here to do with that magic bowl. Um, there's our stats. I think what we need to do is eat a banana from the tree. They are still here. Some of them are good yep proteins were fine although we could eat those two snails and just top off that little bit of proteins I spy fruits which is good for carbs didn't see anything for fats. There's a nut tree behind the dryer. Just verify. Oh, there's still something on the dryer. Oh, there's that piece of stingray meat there, look. That's it. I knew there was something missing there. Seven empty slots, that's perfect. Nut tree, where did I see you? There you are. Right, got you. Oh, that made us heavy. That one nut, that's all it took to make us heavy. Exactly 50. Well, we need to eat because we need fats, so we might as well eat the nuts. And we need a little bit of protein, we'll eat those snails. Forty-eight point seven. Could let us move around at a reasonable pace. It does. We're not tired. Take another drink. Right, they're all empty. 
I left the ingredients down here for doing the ritual. There they are on the floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to end it there, pick it up in the next episode, where we will do the the ritual and what have you, and see where it goes. And I spy loads of mushrooms down there, which I might just go and grab between episodes. But for me for now, thanks very much. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you're enjoying this. Take care, everybody. And have fun in the game. It's a great game. Uh, it's a beautiful game as well. I mean, look at that uh, sunburst coming through between the trees. That is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Devs have done a fantastic job on the game. Right, I'm out of here. Give the video a like, click subscribe, leave your comments down below. Any questions you might have, I'll try and answer them. From me, for now, as always, it's just bye for now.